In today's video, we're going to be going over how you can charge your cell phone with your electric skateboard battery. You'll need a buck converter for your proper voltage, some black wire, and some red wire. This is the buck converter. It steps down the voltage from the voltage, in our case 42 volts, to 5 volts in the form of a USB. It's a very small and cheap piece, and it's actually very efficient. We got this buck converter from Amazon for only $8, and it works for a wide variety of voltages, all the way up to 63 volts. The buck converter is placed in parallel with the battery to step down the voltage, and the black wire, which we are calling the negative, is soldered to the negative terminal of the buck converter. We then soldered a red wire to the positive labeled end of the buck converter. The next step is to expose some of the negative wire on the battery by using an X-Acto knife to scrape off some of the insulating coating. This will allow you to solder the negative wire from the buck converter to the negative wire of the battery terminal. We then applied hot glue on top of the solder connection to avoid it from shorting with anything else in our circuit. We then repeated the process for the positive wire on the battery and connected that to the positive of the buck converter by soldering the wire to the opening that we created with the X-Acto knife. Soldering the positive wire proved to be a larger challenge as the current was live and it sparked whenever we tried to connect it. This was our fault for not putting in a switch or putting it in after the switch in our circuit. Before we finish this video, here's a special message from our sponsor, PCBWay. As we're approaching the holidays and the new year, it's important that we reflect on the past year. That's why PCBWay has their yearly 2019 shopping festival, where you can get a free prototype PCB for the holidays. Use the coupon code CHRISTMAS10 to get a $10 discount. There's also going to be thousands of free mystery gifts given away in packages. So make sure that you go check out the amazing sponsor of this video, PCBWay, and go make an order if you're interested. To prevent this from happening, we went to our local hardware store and bought this toggle switch. It's made for 120 volts and 8 amps, but it'll work for this purpose. It's a pretty standard toggle switch, which just has an on and off position, and we wired it in series with the positive wire and the buck converter, and now when we touch the wires together, there's no spark because the circuit is off, and there's no current flowing. The circuit is exactly the same as before, except there's a toggle switch wired in series with the positive wire from going from the buck converter to the positive wire on the battery. So here's the wiring again for anyone that missed it or needs a second look. The negative of the buck converter goes into the negative of the battery and the positive of the battery goes into this on off switch in series and then through the red wire and into the buck converter's positive so that the buck converter is wired in parallel. Once we got the buck converter working perfectly, we then put it through this hole that we drilled in the side of our enclosure, that way we could access it while we were riding or while we were stopped riding. This is what the final product looked like, the USB port on one side and the on off toggle switch on the other side. You turn on the toggle switch to the on position to allow the USB port to start charging whatever you have plugged in, which in our case for this test is the remote. So we just plugged in a standard micro USB to the USB port, plugged in the Inertia Nano X, and once we turn on the toggle switch, the red light on the Nano X to indicate charging should turn on. And just like that, you can charge any device via USB through your electric skateboard battery using a buck converter. The USB buck converter is going to prove most crucial when one of our remote dies and we're still far from home. All we'll have to carry is the micro USB charging cable and then we'll plug it into our longboard and into our remote and ensure that we're never stuck due to the fact that our remote dies. It'll also be useful for charging our cell phones. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope that you've now learned how you can charge your phone with an electric skateboard battery or that you've just learned how a buck converter works and what it can do. Once again, thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.